Welcome back to AUT After Hours. Our guests tonight share a story most students can relate to. Jake will be talking to Mitchell about their love of the culinary arts. So Mitchell some very successful dinner parties. What goes into to such a great dinner party? Well, a dinner party is a really tough thing to set up. You need to, there's a lot of preparation that needs to go into it, especially even the day before in the morning of, you know, sometimes you have some slow cooking dishes that you need to prepare in the morning that I like to do. And also it's really important to dress your house up, you know, make it nice, give it a bit of a vacuum or something. Um, so that guests feel welcome when they come in. So obviously food's a big part of these dinner parties. Mm. What's your signature dish? What do you make and guests just go, wow? Um, my signature dish would probably have to be my migering. You probably haven't heard of it. It's a bit fancier. But um, basically it's just a noodle dish, a bit of soy sauce, a um, bit of flavour sachet, a bit of um, preserved onions and stuff, a bit of spices. What kind of flavours would you expect to see in, in this kind of dish? Oh, I have no idea. I just get the sachet when I buy it from the supermarket and I, I throw it in there. It's really, I just, I crack up talking about it because, yeah, it's, it's you know, funny, like, people don't understand yeah, that, you know. It's a lot of um, experimental stuff goes into mm, this. You exactly. don't realise, do they? It's an art, really. It is an art, it is an art. So, for some, someone at home that wants to cook something similar, but maybe that's too hard, mm. what's something easy they could do, um, maybe quickly after work? Um... That's tough because a lot of the stuff I prepare is a bit fancier. Sure. But I think definitely um, peanut butter toast on $1 white pack and save bread would be the way to go. Um, chuck it in the toaster. Make sure you have a nice toaster to get a nice even browning of it. Um, thinly spread the peanut butter first so that it can melt and then add another layer on top and you're good to go. So what's the hardest dish? You talk about hard dishes in your restaurant. What's the hardest dish you have to prepare? The hardest dish? Oh man. Um, the hardest dish would probably have to be uh, the creme brulee that we do. I don't actually know what goes into it. I don't actually know how to make it. There's just a bunch of stuff up on a shelf and I throw it all in there and mix it up. Mm. Um, but yeah, that normally takes me about five hours to get right. Sure. So here, here for the savvy cooker, mm. you've got a new cookbook out. I do actually. Can you talk about that for a second? Sure. Um, this is it here by me, Paul Thero. Um, it's called Kowloon Tong. It's about an oriental uh, foods that I came up with inspired by some ancient Chinese recipes. Sure. Would you mind reading us a, a quick excerpt out of that? Sure, I'd love to. Um, let me have a look. <laughs> what can I find here? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Backing away from the dance floor, hmm. he was jostled towards the bar. He ordered a beer and was charged twice as much as it would have cost in the Pussycat. And I'll leave it there, just a <laughs> little cliffhanger for you guys. So, twice as much? You don't charge that kind no, of cost. I don't, I don't charge that much when people no. come to my dinner parties. No, no. Do you not charge them at all, I hope? No, no, of course. No. They're my friends. I want them to So, talking about me. drinking, what kind of stuff would you put um, in those drinks? Uh, in those drinks, not really sure. I've got some tap water. Yeah. Um, I've got half a scrumpy left from last night at my mate Ben's house. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, soda. That's cool. Thank you, you very much, Mitchell, for that quick interview. Um, hopefully people at home can do something similar. Thank no you. Thanks, Jack and Mitch. Cooking sounds like a super fun experience. I'll be sure to be checking out Mitch's cookbook, and you can find it on AUT Online. After the break, we bring you the tale of the strange nocturnal visitations that plagued an Auckland church. Keep